Yeah, I don't want to deal with this. Last week was the Brachius 21.1 game jam. Now, it was a one week jam with a theme that was announced at 3 a.m. in the morning. I woke up at 3 a.m. to see the theme. And it was stronger together. Now, I felt like this is going to be a pretty easy jam. I mean, how many things can come out of that? It's pretty much just teamwork. Yeah, that's about it. There's not really much. But I was trying to think of an original idea and went with a puzzle platformer because I haven't really made one of those. And I feel like whenever I play them, it's just a whole bunch of fun. Because I like playing co-op so you can play with two people on the same computer. I just find that those games so much fun. So the Sunday that the game jam was launched, I was unable to work on it because I had a bunch of schoolwork to do. And that's kind of a theme throughout this. I didn't really get too much time. I had to like work an hour a day after all my schoolwork. I feel like Monday was a pretty productive day. I got all of the movement done for the game, which was very easy because I kind of just took it from a video I saw and then added colliders. And I also added a pretty basic level, more of just a testing platform for me to do more stuff on. And I dabbled a little bit into the animation of the character, which I thought was going to be pretty important because I wanted to have this game to not just be a pixel animation game. I wanted it to be like an actual vector game. So my whole idea for the game was to have each character had its pretty much own power. So I want one to be able to delete blocks to another character to get through and also one to create blocks. So they kind of have to work together to get through the level and to get each other to the level so they both can finish. But for some reason, I had to make it so much harder than it had to be. I don't know what I was doing, and I honestly was kind of panicking even though I had like a bunch of time to do it. I wasn't really good at understanding how much time I really had to finish the game. And that's one of the things that I would do better in the next game jam. Understanding how much time you have and plan ahead, because that's something I did not do that I really should have done. So I guess after that, I worked on the character animation because I wanted that to be very good. I actually streamed it live on my YouTube channel for some reason because I was kind of bored. I want something different to do. So yeah, I may do that later again. I don't know. But I feel like the animation, it's its weird. It. I thought I had mixed matched and like had it in the wrong order. No, no, no. <laughs> but I didn't. So it's... It's not terrible, you can obviously tell it's running, but yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, it's there. So I guess by now it was probably either Thursday or Friday. And I know so I really didn't get much done, so I worked more on levels. And I wanted to get some interesting levels done. The first level was kind of like an introductory, so it kind of, ex you, both players need to use their powers to help the other person. And... Yeah, you pretty much just get through the level. And next was, what was next? Yeah, so the next level was, it was a lot, you had to think about it a bit because there's this platform that can be broken down, but if it goes all the way down, then pretty much what happens is you, once you jump on it, you can't get up to the next platform. So the person has to add a support beam under it. So when it breaks the tall one, it goes down to the small one so that you can jump on top of it. That was actually, I don't know where I came up with that, but I felt like it was a pretty good idea. And it really showed what you could do with this game if I had more time, also more skill. And the last one had moving parts and it was a lot more difficult. It was just pretty much an extension of the earlier one. So then it was Sunday. And this is the last day to work on it. So I will stayed up all the way till 3 a.m. to get it done. Okay, so I'm mid-edit here, and I realized that I missed a big piece of information. Do you remember when I said 90% of the game was made that one Sunday from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m.? Yeah, that wasn't a lie. All those levels were also were all created in that time frame. Also, I created the an extra level that I didn't explain in the video for some reason. Uh, it's on screen now. It has a cool moving platform that's kind of interesting with a block in between. I also created some sound effects using SFXR. The may not be correct, real name on screen now. And I also created for a jump 
to break blocks when you finish a level. So that just made it sound a lot better. Also a background. I don't think I explained that in the actual video. I also created a title screen with some buttons, but the wind transition once you beat a level looks really cool for some reason. As this green kind of transparent look that I think looks really good, especially with the sound effect. I also created an end screen. So it pretty much says made by Bezio. It also has an information. So yeah, that's about it. Back to the video. Perfectly laid out. So then I submitted to the jam. So unfortunately, I did not submit it correctly. And I only submitted the exe file and I had to submit everything. But to be honest, I'm okay with that because I have tried my hardest on the jam and I enjoyed myself. Like I really did genuinely enjoy creating the game. And I know next time it's just gonna be 10 times better. So I'm looking forward to the next one. And you should be looking forward towards the next video because this one's about to end. So if you did go on to enjoy the video though, consider hitting the like button and subscribe. It would help me out loads. I'll see you next week with another video. Goodbye everyone. Oh yeah, also this happened.